All right, guys, guess what? Back at it again, day three in a row of us being late to an event that we need to attend to. This time we're ultra late because we're supposed to be there at 12. It's almost 1.30. Um, they said, if they don't let us in still, I'm gonna be not the most happiest camper, but it's like the historical museum, some national rights, civil rights, national rights, human rights. Yeah, human rights. And then we got the Coca-Cola museum. So yeah, let's go. It's a interesting day. Doesn't look too hot, which is good. And uh, yeah, let's just get to it. That's all you can really do in this situation. All right, we're pretty much here. You guys see it. It's Friday, so I think there's a lot of traffic in the city. There just seems like there's a lot of people here right now. So that's the thing. I always choose the worst days. The worst days to do stuff. That's just my body. So but you know what? We're going to turn the worst into the best. That's what we're going to do. Atlanta traffic is not it. I'm not gonna lie, this, like this part of the country is real cool. I don't, don't think it's for me. Like I love the people here. There's other people who look like me. That's really cool. It's just like, I need some body of water or a mountain or something, man. It's too hot. It's too hot for there to be nothing else like out here for real. Bro, not another workout. I gotta work out later today, bro. This is too much. So we're officially in the museum, civil rights. And yeah, this is already interesting. They already have colored versus white. It's very interesting. Nah, this museum is way more interesting to me than the Chick Fil A Hall of Fame. It's talking about actual history and like segregation and like everything that happened, especially in the South. Like I actually. I'm very interested in this. Now, no lie, I learned about this in school, right? But I'm actually here right now. This is like, it's different. It's very different. Especially if you're from Michigan, it's like the North wasn't really as, it wasn't as bad as it was down here. And it's crazy because I'm like literally like down South right now, like where it all happened. That's crazy. I don't even have like commentary on this vlog. It's just like I'm really just taking everything in because like I don't know. This is like crazy. To, like I I knew about this, but just reading. I'm about to read everything here. Is what I'm trying to say. Like I feel like I'm discovering more about my history, my past, also the world, United States. Uh, very very interested, and yeah, there's gonna be a lot of reading, less talking. I didn't even read. Okay. Oh, no, no, it okay, okay. Wait, so. Nothing on the camera except for your hands because it's activated by touch, right? And it's okay. So, um, you're gonna put the headset on first, and then when you're ready, you're gonna put the hands down. Alright, there's like this thing I'm gonna try. We're gonna see I guess, how long I can last doing it. We'll see. I'll, I'll update y'all when, when I am done with it. Now that headphone thing was intense, it was like the sit-in movement, you can hear the chair shaking. Oh. Literally people screaming in your ears, people threatening to kill you, it was kind of crazy. It's really wild. So uh, yeah, and it's like we're like sitting down like right. Like, it's a simulation, it's crazy. We're gonna try to sit in with this uh, video in a minute, but no, I might be here for a while. I know I got the Coca-Cola thing later, like literally in like 20 minutes, but I'm much more interested in this than any, any Coca-Cola thing.
chased and fired on a radio equipped car containing two white men. I'm all about freedom, so like this to me right now is like, like I'm so passionate, I'm so like, there's like a fire inside of me, like that freedom, like, I don't know, I'm really passionate about all this stuff, so I'm gonna keep being in here and read everything, literally as much as I can, um, cause yeah, like, I care about this. They have like a big art museum, so we're gonna go like look at that stuff now. We got a lot of the history down, but let's look at some more of the, the graphics, the art. <clears throat> oh. Dang, this is still a lot though. Dang. today bro i need to talk to my roommate gabriel keep it tapping out with history I need to tap into history for real for real uh we about to head out but that was like i spent a good amount of time here like i don't even know how long but i feel like i learned a lot got more educated just on like the world and everything history a little bit need to continue tapping in. Now we're gonna head to the Coca-Cola Museum because we got those tickets and uh, yeah, it should be a good time. Hold on, apparently apparently they have it downstairs. Who would've known? Uh, I feel like I'm in like the Eli Broad Museum right now, but like way more. Oh, is there even a downstairs? Hold on, we about to check this out. We can't bring our camera in this one, but uh, we still gonna go in and uh, I'll keep you updated when I get out. All right, we are the the national, what's it called? I don't even know the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. Low key, very. That was probably my one of the favorite things I've done so far in Georgia because I just like it stimulated my brain and got me thinking and like learning about history and stuff. I definitely need to tap into that more. We have the Coca Cola Museum, which we're kind of like 30 minutes late to. Are we 30 minutes late? 40 minutes late now. Low key might chill out for like 10 minutes and just chill after that. But yeah, like that was a lot. I'm gonna tap into history way more. I'm all about freedom. I feel like this internship, just being here, this is really why I came to Atlanta. And I got another internship offer in Seattle. Um, it would've been like 45 minutes outside of Seattle anyway. But like, this is like right in Atlanta. I'm able to do all this and like, this is really changing my brain and like shaping me like, my freedom, like I feel like it's strengthening who I am. Like my freedom, my freedom, I I'll to keep talking about freedom forever because it's just so important to me and yeah like you need to start learning more about history and learning more about money tap into real estate all, all of the above but uh yeah we're gonna try to get into this coca-cola museum in a minute here after we uh take a quick five minute rest so yeah you know there's such a sense of like peace and freedom just being here by myself like no one knows me for real like i can do whatever i want i'm not gonna see these people again it's like who am i doing my own thing i'm just here stretching for real like what's going on we're about going to the coca-cola museum this is it this is this is that freedom i was talking about um at least to a certain extent financial freedom what's on my mind mostly these days but time freedom as well um yeah i'm really excited honestly for for like what's coming next i have a lot of things like planned um the key is just to keep doing stuff every day doing your best and things are shaping up that's all i can say so i'm really enjoying life now um, not that I wasn't before, but like I'm really enjoying. I don't know. Today's just a good day. I like today. Um, talking to my friends, family. Call them later. I don't know. I just I'm just starting to appreciate things a lot, a lot more. Um, 
Yeah, appreciate everything. There's a lot of things that need to be done, but that's what makes it fun, right? Like, it would be boring if I literally had nothing, nothing to do. Even though sometimes that's nice, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy I have things to do and I know I need to do. It's all about just doing them. It's all like, it's like this, bro. I already have everything set up. I just need to go do it. Like, what else more could I ask for? Um, so yeah, let's go.